Well, AFL match reviewers have come down hard after one of the most spiteful matches of the season. They've handed out the longest suspension in their brief history. St Kilda's Steve Baker may miss as many as 12 weeks, and he has the dubious distinction of being the first person to be charged with making unnecessary contact with an injured player. And as Peter Lennigan reports, a couple of Geelong players are facing a stretch on the sidelines as well. Johnson and Baker scuffled throughout the spiteful first half of Friday night's game. The AFL's match review panel has cited the Saints defender for four separate offences, including targeting Johnson's injured hand. Baker could miss up to 12 matches if he can test the panel's penalties. He'll be rubbed out for nine weeks if he pleads guilty, which would sideline him until the finals. Johnson was cited for two offences, including this elbow on Baker. He can accept a three-week ban. Cameron Mooney was also charged and will miss at least two games for striking Jason Blake. Meanwhile, Richmond's Graham Polak says no decision has been made about his immediate playing future after a head clash in the VFL on the weekend. He suffered a serious head injury when he was hit by a tram two years ago and he concedes he might need to wear a helmet on the field in the future. If it means me playing footy future, yeah, I'll definitely wear it. But, um, yeah, well, I haven't assessed that yet, but uh, no doubt I'll look into it. And Hawthorne's Josh Gibson could return to the Hawks lineup for round 15. The defender's been sidelined since early in the season after injuring his hamstring. Peter Lenigan, ABC News, Melbourne.